Hi, I recently won a complete set of the Sailor Moon mini dressable Pachi Pachi figurines on eBay and I just wanted to do a quick unboxing video, show you guys what they look like, how adorable they are, how detailed they are, if at all, and um, yeah, just wanted to show you basically what they look like. Alright, so I have already taken them out of the shipping box so it doesn't show my address and all that good stuff and this is how they were packaged it's all seven of them I want them all together I got super lucky with this one so here they are so it's one two three and the other four and I will get started so here is the first one which is Save the Moon she is adorable so there's Sailor Moon. It comes with the figurine, the separate dress, the front and back, her wand, the bow for the back of her fuku, and a stand. This is the side, the front. They're from 1997, so they are 20 years old this year. I'm so excited. This is actually the main thing that I collect is the older Sailor Moon stuff. So here is the back of it. It shows them in their senshi fukus and then their little civilian outfits and it says that the outfits are interchangeable between scouts except tuxedo mask you can't switch his around here's that so there's sailor moon and next is tuxedo mask So cute. Okay, so there's Tuxedo Mask. He comes with one outfit. Looks like it's a one piece with a star for the stand and then his hat. So it looks like Tuxedo Mask does not come with a rose, but Sailor Moon came with her wand. I guess his accessory is his hat. I don't know. He's kind of detailed. The outfit doesn't really look like anything that would even come close to what he would wear, but oh well. Okay, next is Sailor Mercury. So she comes with a little pink and blue dress. And then Mercury it does have her transformation wand and star. So it's three. Oh, Sailor Mini Moon. Okay, so the Sailor Moon version is Super Sailor Moon. And then she also has her updated outfit. You have the outfit, she does have her transformation wand, the extra bow, I guess when you pull her out there wasn't space for them to put the bow. I don't know, we'll see in a second. And then we have next, the Sailor Mars. Oh, she looks rough, she's not very detailed at all. She has a huge neck, I don't know if you can tell from the picture. But I'll try and take her out and show you, she is not detailed at all. She does have her transformation wand. And again, that does not look like anything that the character would wear in the show. Not even close. Oh, well. oh we have Sailor Venus. This does look like something she would wear. There's a little pink dress. Looks like they all pretty much have the same items that they come with, which is a stand, the transformation wand, and a dress. They can switch between characters. And finally, here is Sailor Jupiter. Her head's turned to the side, but we'll pull her out and see. And it looks like they all have, at least this one does, so some of them have a hole in their hand. I guess that's for their wand to stick into. Alright, so it looks like they all come in just plastic. It does look aged. And then here is the top. So here they are. And each character comes out. If I can get her out of there. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so her head does turn. Thank goodness. So the body turns, the arms turn, the dress comes off, obviously. And so when you take her outfit off, it looks like it's attached with a little dot that attaches to a hole in her back. So you take her outfit off and 
She's wearing underwear at least. So there's her without her uniform on. And then put her outfit on. Just set. Oh, the clothes do not have the little hole, the little stick that goes in the hole. At least the front doesn't. And the back doesn't either. So only the outfit is secure, I guess. You cannot take off her gloves or her shoes, so she is stuck wearing a little outfit with gloves. So you can't change that one out, but that's okay, obviously. We have her little display stand and her stick. Not sure how she holds. Oh, there is a little hole in her hand. A little stick coming out of her wand. I guess you just stick it in there. Oh, yep, fits perfectly. So she can walk around with her outfit on with her little stick. And, or you can just take her outfit back off and put her costume on. It feels like her costume is a lot more sturdy. The outfit does not have the little stick that goes in the hole to hold it on a little more secure. So here she is. So a little outfit, a little wand, and everything feels pretty sturdy. Nothing's really going anywhere. The only thing that I have to say is that the faces are not very detailed. Her hair is kind of a block of brown, but oh well. And the other characters, I will put them together and show you guys what they all look like out of the package and with a uh, civilian dress and with their senshi outfit on. And I will be right back. Alright, here they are all assembled. Here is Super Sailor Moon with her wand. Here's Tuxedo Mask. And his hat is actually what holds his glasses. If you see him without the hat, it takes off the glasses. So they are attached to the hat. So there is Tuxedo Mask. There is little mini Sailor Moon. Marini, her tiny little bill. We have, we have Sailor Jupiter in the back with her transformation wand. Got Sailor Venus and Sailor Mercury. And here are all of the characters in their civilian clothes. As you can tell, they look a little bit strange with the boots and the gloves, which you cannot take off. And some of the faces are a little bit more detailed than others, like Super Sailor Moon looks great, but then Sailor Jupiter looks like a little alien and then so the three main characters look fine but then the three back characters definitely didn't take as much time on the details for their faces they look a little bit strange like mars like mars for instance has a weird little neck the face just is kind of funny shaped so if you get on to have on display they don't look bad at all and especially like the idea that you can put them on display in civilian clothes without necessarily being in their uniforms and in their senshi outfit so it gives you one more idea for displaying and the boxes also do not have any tape on the top of the box so you can easily take them out to display them without harming the box for those that like to have the dis boxes for display it doesn't mess them up so that is one nice option that they're not all taped up and you can just remove them and put them back up whenever you feel like it so there you have it that was all seven of the mini dressable pachi pachi figurines out of the box in each outfit so you had sailor super sailor moon sailor mini moon tuxedo mask and then mercury Venus, Jupiter, and Mars. So all seven of them in their cute, amazing glory. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like I said, I got them all in one lot on eBay. Got super, super lucky. If you are looking for them individually, I highly recommend them because they are just small, cute, and adorable, and just something a little more different and exciting than the regular dolls or the regular plushies. Just gives you a little something else that you can take out of the box and display. 
The brand new Petite Char figures are obviously adorable, but this just has a little more something exciting to them. The details aren't that great. Some of them are better than others. They obviously took a little bit more time with Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask and Mini Moon. And then the four Outer Scouts, they didn't spend nearly as much time on, which I kind of wish they would, but oh well, it's 20 years ago. Can't go back in time. Wish I could and wish I could go back in time and buy them for a lot cheaper than what I got them here today. So here they are. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. If you would like me to see me unbox anything else in particular of Sailor Moon, I have a decent little collection. I might do a collection video later. If you're interested in seeing my entire collection, put it in the comments below. I am dying to show everything off. Um, if you would like to see it, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. If you wanna see any better pictures or another video of each individual character of these, it would take forever, but I wouldn't mind doing it. I'm excited about this YouTube channel and be able to show Sailor Moon items in detail. Some of the newer items you can see a ton of unboxing videos for, but the older stuff that's 20 years old, you never see unboxing videos for. Some people do huge haul videos from their eBay purchases, but they never actually unbox everything, which I wish they would. I personally would love to see all the items exposed and out of the box, see if the detail is worth it for the money that you're obviously going to be spending. So um, let me know if you want me to unbox anything. As you see in the background above, I have like I said, a decent collection. I am planning to do a collection video in the near future. I just don't have time to do it really, but if you want to see it, let me know. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more unboxing videos for the older Sailor Moon items, um, reviews, details, that kind of thing. Subscribe, uh, like this video, um, and yeah, if you want to see more, stay tuned. I plan on posting a few videos as time allows, and hopefully I can show you guys what everything looks like without you actually having to buy it and waste your money on something that isn't as cute or isn't as detailed as you would have liked it to have been, especially for the money that you're going to be spending on the older stuff. So yeah, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.